Yeah, hi. So uh, today I have uh, encountered one uh, weird problem in my VMware. So uh, what happened actually? Uh, suddenly my all uh, VMs uh, showing in uh, red mark, and uh, when I am clicking on those VMs, it is showing could not open virtual machine. Uh, VMX file is corrupt. Remove uh, this VM from the library. So don't know why it is showing because yesterday night I was working on my VMs and at that uh, time all VMs were uh, running fine so suddenly it happened uh, with my VMware so uh, I have uh, fixed this issue on uh, some of my VMs so these two VMs I have uh, recovered so uh, I thought that I should share this uh, solution with you guys so uh, might be uh, uh, some of you have already faced this problem and uh, since you don't know the solution so you might have created the VM from scratch again so this video will help you to save your effort rather than recreating the whole setup you can fix your existing uh, VM so first uh, let me show you uh, if I click on any VM uh, let's say I will click on this VM so it is showing VM file of uh, a VMX file is corrupt but if I go to the location so it is OEL712 okay yeah this is the base folder so you can see here VMX file is already there but the strange thing is that if I open this VMX it is totally empty it is totally empty that is the problem and that is the corruption and still now I am not able to find the reason that why uh, it happened might be uh, due to some glitch or some uh, due to some any uh, malware so I am suspecting uh, those things so anyways we need to fix this and the same scenario is in my every VM if I open this VMX here also I find only one line so this is the issue so we need to fix it so I have prepared one uh, document also for this so it is quite easy so at first we need the VMware log just like Oracle alert log VMware also creates one log so we need the log file of that time when our VM machines were running fine so for this video I am targeting to recover uh, this OEL 712 VM so I will check there whether I have uh, logs there or not so I can see yes I have the log and it is uh, it is of 17th March so yes definitely that time my VM was running fine so I will open this log Yeah, so it is the log of uh, my uh, VMware VM. Now we need to re uh, locate this section. Yeah, so this is the uh, required parameters which is required to create this VMX file. Okay, so just open this VMX file. remove all the entries and copy from here the first line to where to user defaults section so I'm copying all the files uh, all the parameters just go down till we see that uh, uh, uses something yeah so just copy till here where you see the users default so copy from here and paste here now we need to remove these lines these lines are not required so just remove these lines now 
delete it now remove the first line also because it is uh, a comment uh, remove the empty line now you see here lots of uh, trailing and uh, 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 space uh, in front of the parameters so just there is one shortcut in notepad plus plus just copy the whole text go to edit go to blank operations here use the trim leading and trailing space so it will remove all the spaces now my parameter file is ready save it close it close the log now we need to start the vm and let's see what happens see you, s you saw that the red mark has gone away that means our parameter file is ok and you see here all the parameters it has uh, loaded uh, correctly from uh, our uh, parameter file now let's try to start this vm hopefully it should start successfully so if this uh, starts up successfully it will help a lots of effort uh, because if you don't know uh, uh, this method you would uh, definitely delete this VM and uh, you will create your new VM from scratch and if you have there uh, your rack setup or any uh, database setup in uh, the VM so you need to uh, include those efforts also to create the databases also after creating the VM so this video will be definitely helpful to you in case if you uh, if you uh, encounter uh, such uh, situation with your uh, VMware VMs so let's wait for port to uh, okay it is starting I can uh, start the okay here I can see my VM is up but it is still loading and okay no issue I can try to ping the server yeah ping is working fine so I will try to log in through putty yes so my server is live now it is taking time because still it is in uh, booting state but yeah I am able to log into putty and uh, so yes uh, I have recover, uh, uh, recovered my VM so I hope uh, you will find this video useful so thank you so much